guys, what is going on? And welcome back to a brand new video. Now, I know it's been uh, a couple of days, two days, I believe. I didn't post uh, yesterday and I didn't post uh, Friday. I didn't do a live stream because uh, I've, I've just been so busy. As you can't tell, or if you can't tell, I'm not in London anymore. Uh, I'm in my old garage. I've got my bike. And today I'm going to do a bit of a bike check for you guys because I get asked every single day to uh, do a bike check, even though I did one like four or five months ago. Um, so I'm going to go over my bike very quickly. That's all this video really is going to be for today. Actually, my phone's only going to actually re let me record for eight minutes. So uh, for my handlebars, we've got the We The People uh, Mad Max handlebars. I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but uh, that's what those are. Can this focus, please? There we go. Max Gertig or whatever his last name is, Mad Max. Uh, we've got this Colony top load stem. Uh, the forks I have are S and M. For some reason, it's got a Fit Bico uh, cap, but those are S and M forks. They're the ones that are like completely enclosed all the way around the uh, axle. Uh, this front hub is just like a uh, salt, salt uh, female axle hub. I don't know. It's all right. It was like nineteen dollars uh, because I worked at a bike shop. BSD Alex Donut Squeak tires, uh, a claw or a clat rim. I don't know what um, exact model it is. All I know is that it is a claw or a clat. Um, so the frame I have is a McNeil. Oh yeah, the grips ODIOs, and then this one is just like an old demolition. I don't know why I have two different grips on. That's just how I roll, I suppose. But the frame is a McNeil. If it will. If it will focus here, focus, Fo there we go, there's that sweet McNeil badge, um, made in Canada, designed in Canada, whatever you want to say, um, so there's that, it's currently s silver, blue, I don't know, it looks like garbage, my whole bike in fact does not look very good, um, and at the end of this video I'm going to change it, but I kind of need your help, so I'll explain a little bit more on that at the end of the video but yeah so seat uh, you can't really see it anymore but it is an odyssey seat i don't know is that focus yeah it is an odyssey seat i've got an odyssey oh actually i have a shadow seat post okay shadow seat post uh cranks are uh, a clat or a claw whatever at, i don't know what ones the pedals are the odyssey grandstand um my sprocket is also a clat. Uh, I think it's just like a 25 tooth. Um, these are clat cranks. These always come loose. Like, look, I could take my cranks apart right here with my bare hands. This always comes loose. I don't know why, but other grandstand pedal. Odyssey Bluebird chain, if I didn't already say that. The back wheel is, I believe, yeah. It's a demolition. Um, Left-hand drive cassette. My free coaster is right there. That'll go back on at some point during the year, but right now I am enjoying the cassette. Uh, my pegs, I think, are demolition. Demolition or federal. I do have one or two more that I'm going to put on. I think next time it's actually decent out and I go ride, I might throw on like four pegs or something. But yeah, this is uh this is my bike. It's uh it's it's not bad. I guess the job done. It's a little crusty. It's a little janky. It looks like it was stolen because it looks like garbage. Um but yeah, so anyways. I am going to be changing the way my bike looks. Maybe if I get enough money to get a new frame, I'd be getting a new frame. I looked at a couple of the people ones. There's actually one at the bike shop, uh, but it's four hundred and fifty bucks. And, yeah, I'm just not really willing to throw out that kind of dough when my frame is, like, not horrible. So what I'm going to do is I am going to paint it once it gets a little bit warm out, warm enough to where I can paint it and the paint will actually stick. Um, so basically, I don't know what hand it like holding this with. Um, I'm going to paint it, but I want to know what you guys want to want to call me what, what color it should be um obviously the ones the those of you that are watching this are the ones that actually care about my bike and stuff because a lot of you probably don't um but if you want to see uh, a certain color way on my bike then let me know for sure because i'll obviously 
All right, I'll probably just end up painting it all black. Um, but if you guys want to see like a colored frame, I think if anything's going to be colored, it'd be the frame. Um, so I'll probably do the forks black um, and my cranks black. But if you guys want to pick out the color of what my frame will be, um, I'll go through the comments and uh, I'll, I'll pick out a color or I'll pick out a couple and then we'll do a poll or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, anyways, I guess that's probably about it. It's uh, like minus 10 out right now and I'm only wearing like a flannel, so I'm absolutely freezing. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. This is my bike. I hope this video suffices for all of you that have been asking me every single day what I ride on my bike. Oh yeah, this is this hub guard. I get asked all the time if these are any good. They're pretty good. I would definitely recommend. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully now, I don't have a question every day on what parts I ride. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Peace. <laughs>